The House just passed a $1.9 trillion package. I know you think it is too much money. There is a lot uh, in here, though, that you do support, direct payments to Americans, money for vaccinations. It appears it won't include a $15 minimum wage hike, which you opposed. Are you open to voting yes on that plan? I have no clue how it will come out of the Senate. Republicans have not been involved. I listened to Press Secretary Jen Psaki speaking about how we've been listened to. I started laughing. <laughs> that is such a joke. You can find one thing perhaps where, oh my gosh, we will get criticized on that, so we'll adapt. But the reality is, is that they put forward a package which reflects the interest of the Democratic constituencies that elected the president. Uh, the last time the Senate voted for a higher minimum wage. It was my first month in office. It was the first speech I gave on the Senate floor. It was so long ago that the presiding officer uh, was a first term Illinois senator by the name of Barack Obama. He was presiding over the Senate. That's how long ago this was. Since we've raised the minimum wage, the Republicans have failed to do it. We're going to raise wages. We're going to find a way to do it. I'm not going to negotiate and meet the press as right. prestigious as this uh, longest serving <laughs> show, whatever it is. I appreciate but it. But we're going to make this we'll happen. We're going to find a way. It's just too important not to. $480 million uh, of the COVID relief bill, according to the CBO, would go to the arts, humanities, museums, libraries. Again, what does that have to do with emergency COVID relief and getting kids back into school this year? Well, first of all, uh, the 90% the of this package goes to address the twin crises we're facing right now, Chris, which is getting the pandemic under control and helping the American people go back to work, helping them get the relief they need to get through this period of time. Schools are like businesses, Chris. They need to budgetary plan over a period of time. Some have to front load changes, whether it's to their facilities or ensuring that if they have to hire additional teachers or bus uh, or bus drivers at this but, point but we're in time about to a ensure but they can we're do talking safe about a decade social distancing. Yeah. Do we need do we need to pay for bridges? Does that have anything to do with COVID? Do we need to pay for tunnels for Silicon Valley? Does that pay? Does that do anything? I mean, if you look if you look at what they're doing, let's if we're focused on COVID, let's take care of the people who have lost their job. Let's help our businesses. Let's make sure we have plenty of tests and make sure we have plenty of vaccine. Get that out quickly. But all, but this radical left stuff. That we're, we're well, first off giving money to states when the revenues have not even gone down, and we've already given them four hundred billion dollars, and we don't even know how much. How, how much has not been spent? I mean, we have $27 trillion worth of debt in this country. Let's spend the money where we need to spend the money, but stop wasting money. Interest rates are going up. Inflation is starting to kick in. We're going to hurt the poorest families in this country if we're not careful. So I want to help people. Republicans want to help people. This is, this is just a radical left-wing agenda uh, that they're trying to cram through uh, because they think, they think they can tie it to COVID. What is fair is that President Biden and the Democrats in Congress gave several weeks for there to be a serious negotiation that came close to the scope and range of this challenge. Uh, the proposals that came forward weren't anything like the scale of the challenge. So, and so, frankly, we're moving ahead with a bill that probably will get no Republican votes in the Senate, but will have broad Republican support in the country. My hope is that after we pass this bill, we will then move towards bipartisan legislating on a whole range of other issues whether it's immigration or criminal justice reform or national service or other mm -hmm. topics. Republicans remain willing and are working on issues that require bipartisan cooperation. We've done five on COVID relief package in the past. It could have happened here. They made a conscious decision not to include us.